I'm Cynthia Newsom here at Lee Summit Medical Center, and we are in the cath lab, and we're with Carolyn Hammond. And Carolyn, this is where you had a pacemaker implanted, and tell us when that happened and why this was such a major event in your life. Sure, you know, this happened in July of 2018, and I was actually flying home from South Africa from a mission trip where I worked with women who'd been severely abused. And on the flight, I felt miserable, miserable. And I knew something was wrong. I passed out. You made it home? Yes. So what happened? So when I got home, I was sitting on the couch and all of a sudden there is a pounding at my door and I open it to a very large Grandview police officer who has told me my physician, my cardiologist, Dr. Doonan, sent him to check on me because they thought I was dead on the floor. Dr. Aaron Doonan is an interventional cardiologist here at Lee Summit Medical Center. Dr. Doonan, explain the devices that we use with Carolyn and, and how that saved her life. Yeah, so back in 2016, she had an episode where heart didn't beat for a few seconds, and we weren't quite sure if that was related to a medication effect because some other things were going on in her life at that time. So we elected to place a device to monitor her heart. Well, this is the monitoring device. It's an implantable device that, again, lasts up to three years. And it records all the abnormal heartbeats. It can record things that you feel. But basically, we'll communicate with this device that sits on the bedside table. And that gets uploaded to the internet so that we can see what's going on. Because she was in the air, uh, there was no way for her device to communicate with us. And, but she did feel something uh, during that flight. When she got home, then the device linked up with the home monitoring system, and that's when all the excitement began. Her heart didn't beat for about 40 seconds, which we didn't believe at first, because that's a very long time for somebody's heart not to beat. Uh, it sputtered a little bit and then eventually restarted on its own, but we knew something was going on. We weren't quite sure if she was alive or dead at that point, and of course our concern was she was alone at home with nobody around, so we sent the police to go check on her. What do you think this story means to the general public? What's the message to the public and to other physicians? Well, if you're having symptoms that you can't quite explain, um, you know, you need to press on and ask for more monitoring. You know, this device last for three years and in the right patient obviously can save your life. I need a pacemaker. That Medtronic device is implanted in me and I'm able to go on and finish the work that I want to do, have my profession, my sales career, have my family, and work with what my passion is around domestic abuse. For her to be able to continue to do that and for me to continue to see her is, is rewarding. All right, so it's called the LINK system. Yes, it's the LINK. Uh, there are other varieties, but basically that's uh, the first to market uh, and probably the most widely used at this point. All right, good advice for all people dealing with any kind of heart problems. I'm Cynthia Newsom at Lee Summit Medical Center.